Welcome back to another chapter in our 31 Dreadful Days of Terrifying Treats. Today I will be your crafty host, Sabrina, and we will be making a cauldron. Alright, let's go over to my crafty corner and get started. Alright, welcome to my craft corner. Here's everything you'll need to make your very own paper mache cauldron. Need flour, water, a container to mix the paste in, torn up paper, which any paper will work, a balloon, a container to hold the balloon in, which at home you might have some other item that works better, which you're free to use, scissors, black paint, two different colors of brown paint, paint brushes, spider webs or cotton, yellow, orange, and red tissue paper, and brown paper. Before I get started, this is a very messy craft, so protect your surfaces. I'm using a plastic bag, but make sure to ask an adult if there's anything you have at home that you can use. Also, because this is so messy, really young children might work better helping an adult. Okay, to make the paper mache mix, you mix one part of water with one part flour, which means for every one cup of water you use, use one cup of flour. Mix them together until you get a paste-like consistency, and then make sure to get out as many lumps as possible. Go for about this consistency, but if it's a little bit thicker or waterier, it's still okay. Now next, you need to inflate your balloon. Make sure you have something to balance your balloon on so that it can dry. Now since this is a cauldron, you want it to stand straight up. So I'm going to be using this random cup that I found and some other items to weigh it down. Depending on what you have at home, you might need to get creative. Also ask an adult if they have any ideas for this as well. All right, now for the fun part, the actual making of the paper mache. Dip your torn piece of paper into the paper mache mix and then carefully wipe off any excess. And then place on the top of your paper mache. The reason that I ask you to tear the edges instead of cutting them is to give you a little fibrous edge. And the reason you want that is so that the pieces blend together more. If it has a flat edge like this, then it doesn't blend as well. You can do up to three layers, making sure to fully cover it, and then set aside in a place it won't be disturbed so that it can dry. Now here is the cauldron fully dry. Now paper mache can take anywhere from 24 to 72 hours to dry, so make sure you plan ahead for this one. And now we take out the balloon. You can either pop it or just trim it and let the air escape. Ta-da! Now just trim around the edges and even that out a bit. Now that your edges are fully nice and trimmed, add black to inside and the outside. And make sure you let dry between layers. After your cauldron is fully dry, you can add your spider webs or cotton balls if that's what you're gonna use and put it inside to make the smoke. And then just fluff it up a little bit. Gives it that Okay, now we're gonna make the branches. Take a piece of brown paper, and then just twirl it. Super easy. And then once you get it to this stage, you have the option to paint it, like this. And if you wanna get more technical with it, Add a darker color to the creases and then a lighter color to the top parts. 
now we have our tissue paper that we are going to make into flames. You can get tissue paper at the 99 cent store or at the dollar store in the gift wrap section and it's usually pretty inexpensive. So what you want to do is take your tissue paper and tear it into strips and then group yellow, orange, and red together and just crumple them. You can also twist the bottom together and it'll give it a sort of flame look to it. Now we're going to build our cauldron and fire. Place down the fire. Add your sticks. Then your cauldron. Voila! What'd you guys think? Show us what you came up with on Beanstack or use hashtag 31Dreadful. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.